Hello everyone, and welcome to another Minecraft how-to. And in this video, once again, we are going to show you how to break or remove what is considered an unbreakable block. So I have found myself a stronghold. And this is kind of mid-game. I don't know, some people early game, whatever have you, they come in here. You can hear the cool little sounds placing in <clears throat> the Eye of Ender, but you place in the Eye of Ender. And we spawn in the end portal to head to fight the Ender Dragon. Now, I've seen a few designs, and I've always wanted to do this, design this little room. Now, one of the first things to do is get rid of this silver fish spawner. They're, I know it's kind of like a Minecraft... Um, what's the word I'm looking for to break these? A lot of people don't like breaking spawners, but the silver fish, fish spawner is kind of useless. Um, then the next thing that we would do is have ourselves a bucket of water. And let's just get rid of that. And we would go ahead and get rid of the obsidian. I forgot I'm in creative mode. Uh, let's get rid of this water. I don't know where it's coming from. There we go. Okay. So we would get rid of the lava down here. We'll keep these two pools in just because. Now, <clears throat> I've seen a lot of different designs where people chisel out the ceilings. They build cool rooms. That The only real way to cover up these frames is just to build over them. And then you have yourselves this little bit of drop, and you can still see the frames, and it kind of looks, you know, bland. From the bottom side, it looks like in stone. And it'd be really cool if there was just a simple way to get rid of these things. Now, obviously, if you're playing on your own world or stuff like that, you could jump into creative and just punch these out. It's no big deal, but there is a way to get rid of these in survival. First thing we'll do is start by getting rid of this blocky staircase all the way down to the floor level. Next thing you want to do is come over. You see you have this block here which is the uh, in portal frame, this block, and then right here we'll dig this block out, dead center of the frame. Place in a piece of podzel. You need a red mushroom and quite a bit of bone meal. And we'll grow this. And if we start breaking all of this mushroom, which can be really done or done really easy in survival with an axe. You will see that this has replaced the end portal frame. Now it's gone. <clears throat> so over here on this other side you could place a piece of puzzle here but you're going to need to dig out the wall. And you're going to need to dig out all the way up to this level. Um actually closed in a staircase that we're going to re-expose. So we would need to dig probably one more block back. We're going to try this. This part I haven't tried. <laughs> so let's do this together. Dig that out like that. Oh, there's an abandoned mine shaft in here too. How cool. Anyway, we'll place our mushroom down. And if it doesn't grow, that means there's something in its way. Um, but this wall shouldn't be in its way. Maybe it's right here. Let's try it now. Still doesn't like that. I don't know enough about mushrooms or, or whatnot to <clears throat> get this to work. To where it'll grow. So 
So we'll just keep digging out chunks of the wall. Now the ceiling height needs to stay where it's at. That's the, the key to growing the, the shorter mushrooms. Uh, look, oh, did I delete the mushroom? I guess it did. Let's go ahead and place another one. There we go. Got it to grow. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I tried to hold that one in. Anyway, um, so the center stem of the mushroom, we need to dig out one, two, three blocks. We can keep the ceiling height here. That's what prevents this mushroom from growing um, too tall. And we can get these little short, stumpy mushrooms that will delete the uh, end portal frames. Now, I figured this out in testing how to break bedrock. Uh, mushrooms like to replace other blocks when they grow. Um, <clears throat> similar to trees. It will not replace bedrock, but it will cut out these end portal frames. So what's really nice about this now is if, obviously, stone brick isn't the best example here, but it's what I've got on me at the moment, we can build ourselves a really, really nice end portal frame. <clears throat> or a really nice end portal entrance. And that is how you delete um, the end portal frame blocks in survival Minecraft. This does work in survival. I know we did all this in creative, but I have tested this out thoroughly. Uh, I didn't say this in the beginning, but this is for the Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.14.3. I do not know about console. I do not know about Java. I just had a comment on a video, a redstone video. So I want to clarify it in most of these videos, but I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing if you're new, and I will see you on the next one.